Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. So today, my Spanish teacher canceled my lesson, so I thought I'd sit down and chat to you about things that I love about Mexico City. I've been living here for nearly three years, um, and there's a reason that I'm still here, and there's a reason that I am not leaving, there's a reason that I'm staying here for another year, and continue to up my re my lease and and call this city home despite the few things that perhaps I don't love about it but don't worry there'll be a video I wanted to chat to you about all the things that I love which I happen to note down in my phone I don't know if you can hear the music playing but one of the things that I love about Mexico City and Mexico in general is that there is literally music everywhere, all the time, nearly 24 hours a day. Um, and I love it. I love that it's noisy and that there's literally, like, you go out into the park and there's a man playing a trumpet. You walk down your street and there's a band with drums and a guitar. There's people playing music out of their house. Um, and, and there's real, really no issue with it. Like, people aren't upset or like, ugh you know, touching about it. Um, and I love that. I love music. And while I don't necessarily love all types of Mexican music, um, you can keep your banda. Norteña is not my favorite. <laughs> um, I do love a lot of like current um, Spanish music, current music in Spanish, current Mexican music. Um, yeah, I just, I love that about this city. She's fine. Okay. The next thing that I love, which is obvious if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, is the food. This city is full of the most amazing food. This country is, is a haven for foodies. And it's one of the few places that I've ever lived where the variety of food that comes from here is, is just enormous. So yes, you can get great Italian food, you can get good pizza, you can get awesome burgers, you can get really good um, seafood, you can get great Asian food. But when you travel to the different parts of Mexico and you try the food from that region, you try food that people are cooking in their homes, you have like street tacos, you have any kind of corn concoction. <sighs> I just love it. I love that there's there's like such variety. When you go to Oaxaca and you have all the different moles and you go to Puebla and they call those moles too, but they're totally different. And you come to Mexico City, you've got pastor. You go to Guadalajara and you've got tortas ahogadas. And, and you go north and you've got flour tortillas and some of the best steaks ever. Um, you know, you go west and the seafood's amazing. And you go east and the seafood is also amazing, but totally different. I love that. You're constantly trying something new. And the great thing about Mexico City is that because there are people from all over the country here, you have access to the country's best food without really having to leave. However, I highly recommend leaving because Oaxaca, Guadalajara, Chiapas, oh, Merida, you guys, the food in this country is just unbelievable. Um, something that I love in particular about Mexico City that I haven't necessarily found in other parts of the country is the weather. Except for right now, it's schmuckin' hot. It's hot in June and, and May. But usually, the weather is literally my ideal temperature. It's not too hot. There's rarely humidity here. Um, it's not too cold, there's never snow, I've never seen like ice uh, uh, on my windows, you know, um, I love that. It's perfect for me, like spring, cool evenings, but still like sunny blue skies. Sure, we get the wet season, and to be honest, I leave for half of it, um, but and there are other parts of the country that have great weather. Guadalajara also has really great weather. I do really like the weather in Ensenada. It gets a little bit cold in the winter time, but it's a lot more, um, it ha it's like a little bit more seasonal than Mexico City, which tends to just be like cool, hot, like dry, wet, <laughs> um, but yeah. 
So, something that I have learned to appreciate over the years of living here that I think is an interesting subject to chat about. I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, if you if you live here in Mexico, um, even in the last three years that I've lived here, I've noticed a huge influx of, of other immigrants into Mexico. Um, people that are not from here are, are really excited about moving here, and that's great. Like, I'm so happy to be able to help people who are really interested in moving to Mexico. Um, the cost of living in the short time that I've lived here has increased. Um, especially in Mexico City, there is a huge influx of, of foreigners into the city to live. And while that means there's a lot of great foreign food, there's a lot of really great uh, cool cafes, and it's um, it's got craft beer and, and all the things that I love about, about a cosmopolitan city, it has also meant um, mass gentrification and um, the skyrocketing of, of rent prices, um, which still are quite cheap for people who are coming from the US or Canada. Um, I, I like find myself cringing when people say, um, oh my gosh, only 20,000 pesos a month for rent, which is a little bit over $1,000 a month. Um, that is to me, wow, that's, that's expensive. <laughs> um, I mean, you could live in parts of the US for less than that. Um, and I know that it's, it's all relative for a lot of people. But, and for me, I'm babbling on here. What I'm trying to say is that one of the perks of living in Mexico is the cost of living. It's significantly lower than it is in major cities in the US, um, certainly much cheaper than Canada, the UK, um, and you get a lot more for your money. But I'm also very aware of the fact that that is not actually true for the majority of people who live in this country. Um, so I'm, I'm cautious of saying like that it's cheap because Mexico is not cheap. Uh, Mexico City is certainly not cheap. Um, but if you are earning an income in the US, if you are earning an income online from an American company, your dollars will go a very long way here. Other things I love about Mexico City, or Mexico in general, how easy it is to get around the country, how varied the landscape is here. You can go from desert to beach, to mountains, to jungle, and, and all quite easily. There are flights that connect every neighborhood and city and state in this country, especially if Mexico City is your hub, and there are buses everywhere. It's quite affordable compared to travel, travel within the US or travel within Canada, which is just insane. Yeah, I've worked up a sweat now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or there are things that you love about Mexico that I didn't mention, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.